Morning! You're going to be shoving it out that way? Morning, Michael. Morning. You alright? Freezing like a bottle of pop. <laughs> you what? I'm happy if I get my own way this morning. Why? I've got some wood to sew up. Can I borrow a chainsaw, please? My mates on there say, yeah. Okay. Okay. I think they might have sharpened it. You need it to be sharpened. Well, yeah, you need to learn, don't you? I don't know. Well, I'm going to give you a training course in sharpening chainsaw today. That's right. I'll give you a learning course in manners looking after me. <laughs> Remember, Mr. Arkwright, I am. Mr. Arkwright? Yeah, Mr. Arkwright from Doncaster. <laughs> Go on, then, let's get sorted. Let's get fed. I do know what he means by that, by the way. Um, it was in one of the videos earlier, Mr. Arkwright from Doncaster. Let me know if you know Nurse Gladys. Oh, sure, the business. <laughs> it's a bit of a chilly start here in South Yorkshire today. Um, I'm glad I've got my coat on. Now, Andy is down in Devon. Oh, I think he's on his way down to Devon. I'm not sure. One of the, one of the two. And let's put this here because a dog's keep escaping the garden. So she's trying to like blockade it with a. What? I, I don't know. I don't know what she's trying. But um, yeah, I'm on the straw blow basically. So we'll better get cracking with that. So I'll get Andy's tractor started up. And we'll get some strawing done. Mix on it this morning. He's like, come on, Joe, let's go in big shed. Yes, sir. It is nice now that the uh, mornings are getting lighter. See what we're doing a little bit more. Blowing this bale out. You can see the cows are pretty relaxed about the situation. Anyway, what were you wailing for up with the car? So you hear me screaming, I got cramp in my toe, in my, in my calves. I thought he'd broke his leg or something. Broke my leg? I've had it worse than that when I've, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what did Jane say? Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just flipped camera around like this. See how mucky that sunroof is. That ain't a sunroof no more, is it? Um. These windows are getting a bit mucky as well, like, Andy is, is letting himself down recently, like, I don't know what it is, maybe he's, he's come to our mucky ways of not needing to clean his windows all the time. <laughs> so what's happened? I'm just down there, she's up in the gate, and you're cooking. I was just turning and you dapped it on, and I jerked and fell to my ass. <laughs> Poor Mick, who says his, uh, his legs bruise. I better tell him where's the blame, there's a claim, aren't I? <laughs> My dad pipped it on, did it for him, supposedly. That's what did it, just tipped him over the edge. Boom. So we're putting the hay in. My dad doesn't like using the 9 meter, he only drives the TM. So we've got it on that. Just what he's used to, I suppose. <laughs> They've been struggling for ages, Mick, with that door. Because muck's all built up and they just keep trying to... No, no it just needs... No, 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 it's going to no, fetch bucket, no, no. take a bit out, and that job's done. Yeah, muscle, badly muscle, that's what you need. Is it? And I'm the mister. Yeah, you look the mister with that hat on. Yeah, it look like you ain't got no eyebrows, your hat's that low. I know, I like it. <laughs> See, it's been pushing a line up there. So if we just take a bit out with a bucket... We should be able to shut it nice and easy. Simples. Taking a bit more than I expected. I want to just take a sliver from one side and sliver from the other. You're not going to go falling over on us again, are you? Look at that. Police ball flipping off. <laughs> Bit born, didn't it? And it all spinning. Sip. Should 
make it nice and easy now, nobody's got to struggle opening the gate. We're only getting them two buckets out. Look oh. at that! Jumping stinks! Easy! Mixed glass collector. I've never I've never seen you move as fast. I know. You might be able to do it limbo soon though. Go on then. Oh. Weigh in. Two stone now. Two is that twenty-four pound? Or is that twenty-eight pound? I don't know. Yeah, it's twenty-eight pound. Twenty-eight pound, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Two stone twenty-eight pound. Twenty-eight pound. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. oh. We're gonna say something rude, but he's held himself back, which to be honest, that's for you, Mick, that's good going. Mm. So we've had a massey in the yard, and he would be happy. One of the muck spreaders going out. But did we have some trouble? Jeez, the um, PTO shaft was not wanting to go on at all. Um, hence, mucky, mucky hands, eh? Well, not that mucky, but you know, I've wiped it off. I just want to show people I do get my hands mucky, you know? Not what anyone's saying I'd ever do. My mum's made him something. I love you. Do, do, do. <laughs> That's it. It's a salt cellar, look. It's supposed to be for salt. Is yeah. it? That's why they call it a salt cellar. It's strange, your mum, isn't it? Yeah. Is that what? Is that what it's supposed to be? What does everybody else call them? What would you call that? Piece of paper. Fortune teller or something, aren't they? Wasn't it like you put a, numbers on them? You, you pick, pick a you pick that one, and then you pick, pick a colour. Yeah, or colour. No, no, wasn't it a number then a colour? And then something inside, isn't it? Something with number. Yeah. yeah. Might be I love you. It'd be a bit like love hearts, yeah. Yeah. I'll not get one. Now you've got your first kiss yeah. one of them. <laughs> I'll not get one. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and check for geese. Then I might go and buy some canes and try and scare some geese. Which is mm. So here we go, setting off from the farm. Mick were in awe of uh, the capabilities of the drone. Uh, we're just flying over the field. I think we might be re-drilling some of this. Cause it's looking a bit shabby. Loved it. You loved it. I did. <laughs> I love that drone. I think. Here we, oh, here we are. We're, we're with the um, fly tipping now, so it looks like the fly tippers have cleaned cleaned it up a bit. Uh, the fly tippers, the council, but um, they've left the bits that are in the field, which is a bit a bit of a pain. Anyway, um, we're just looking for the geese in a second. More fly tipping there. It looks a right mess from the sky. It's a right mess. What a mess. Seti there. Cannabis farm, bits and bobs. <laughs> it is. Right, now we're into the field. Um, flying down here. On the right hand side, there they are. Just taking off. We just caught them in like corner of the camera. And then you can just see them flying over the uh, trees there. So... Mick's going to hopefully sort that out. He will do tomorrow, he says. See some quad bike marks and stuff. His next door neighbour has re-drilled some of theirs. And then just a look on to, uh, to our local village that's at the bottom of the field. Business. Oh, no, it's not ended yet. <laughs> Here's a look on to our local village. The sports field and that little bike park down there so there we go and just now coming back into land trying to scare mick it did work quite well it did. <laughs> says it did there we go folks impressed with that then yeah <laughs> well impressed it's a great beast isn't it mister it's quite fun to fun to play about with and stuff and yeah and just helps with, well, it scared them geese off, didn't it? Yeah, it did. And we didn't notice it straight. No. I, I said I thought they'd gone up, gone up, but I thought they were pigeons at first. Mm. No. Anyway, scared them up. Might, might send it over again a bit later. Yeah. Just for something to do, as long as my dad's not grumbling about it. No, well, he'll grumble. <laughs>
I've been thinking all morning there's something in my socks. I've just sorted it. I think I've actually got something stuck in my wellies. I'm further. Stand further back. Cameraman. Yeah. Can you see me? Yeah. <laughs> Are you recording now? Yeah, it's recording, yeah. Look, What's that? Every time I was putting my foot down, I could feel it, but I put my hand in my wellies, I couldn't. What is it? I don't know. That's a pair of blinds for that, or use your teeth. Oh, look, it's a thorn. You. Honestly. Were it leaking? No, Will it was do. just stabbing me. Well, it'll leak now, isn't it? It's got an oil in it. Cool. That's a right, that's a right spike, that. Huh? I sit there, boom. You want it? No. Sure, it's been in my foot. No, you're all right. <laughs> Smell the sweaty feet. <laughs> so, there you go. Mm. Business camera, man. Oh, I'm gone. If people remember the other day, I was um, asking about brackets for the new 130 tractor because um, I need to put the, the computer box in for the Amazon. Now, I had to look through old YouTube videos, this is where YouTube comes in handy for me, um, to find out what we actually used to use in the 125, because it's got the same cab. And I saw this rusty thing in the background of the YouTube video. And um, yeah, this is what we used to bolt bolt on and then the, the thing had bolt on to it. Yeah, this is what we used to bolt on. I'm guessing it went there. And then the computer would bolt to it. So yeah, let's have this back in here. Let's cut that all out of there and bolt it in. Job done. Well, from a distance, it doesn't even look that bad. And if you really wanted, you can just put one of them back in. That covers it up, put one in there. Job's a good one. So don't anybody be complaining saying I've ruined Adam this tractor, because I ain't. You go in then. I'm going to go. I'm going on his pieces of bacon. No bread though. No. I've got a uh, grandparents are coming, so. Gra Do you think anybody will understand what Mick means then? Grandparents. If... Don't tell them. All right. I'll blank that bit out. Go on. Can you? Yeah, probably. Oh. Um. So yeah, we might. We see you tomorrow. Don't know. But I'm going, I'm going. All right. I won't feel tomorrow anyway. Gonna go looking for geese tomorrow. Yeah. He's gonna sort the problem out for me, hopefully. Yeah. Do you reckon you'll be able to walk that far? Yeah, of course I will. But they'll be back, and then how's that? But I'll have a word with my mate and talk See if to we can keep it. Yeah. And the lid's on the corner, don't he? I'll go see him tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Right, so. Bye. 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 Because I know Andy will be whinging it's not perfect, I'm gonna paint it black. I found some black paint, so I'm gonna get sander, not sander, but like disc. Uh, what do they call it? Like the flappy paddle um, grinder on it, shine it up and then paint it black. And hopefully that'll make him happy. That's the type of pad I mean. I know it's getting a bit worn this one, but it'll do. So there we have it. It's got a bit of a shine to it now. We'll get some paint on it and uh, should look a bit tidier. Should have recorded this from the start really, but I forgot. I'm not exactly the best painter. Even any good at painting. But that looks more black than it did rust, so yeah, it looks good to me. While that's drying off, I will go and get some straw with the nine meter. And you know what, after that, I might even fix this seat if I get time. Oh, it's gone. I've spooked him. I don't know what it is, a kestrel or something like that. It's hovering there. So I've just washed the lorry, given the 130's windows a blast off and the TM. Yes, I know it's smoky, I've just done the windows. Um, so yeah, everything, we should be a supreme visibility now. I'm going to finish the mix off now, but before I do that, it's time for Mix of mentions is a happy 29th birthday to Jake Baxter, and that's love from Chloe. Um, we are well over 4,200. I'm not sure if that's the correct total, but just a bit over that at the minute, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much to everyone who's donated and everyone who watches part th through this part of the video business. 
Right then, what bird is that then? Um, yellow pied wagtail or something? Some of you will know. Right, I'm now here ready to open the gates for my dad. And I've got all the softies come to the gate, haven't I? To see me. This brown one is lovely. Right, yeah. Hey, are you lovely? Hey, some great hair on him. So we're in a different pen now. My dad's feeding out in here. And I've got this guy. No, 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 I do not want my wellies eating. No, thank you very much. You're a nightmare, aren't you? You're lovely, though. You are absolutely lovely. You're just also a little bit of a nightmare. I'm just putting a bit extra straw in here because they need it. They were looking like they wanted it, so I thought, right, let's just put it in. My dad's just down in the shed now. The spring that does the green bottom bucket has snapped. Um, so just fixing that. I mean, we can get by, we can use the MX bucket. But, I mean, we've got time. It's only half past four, so probably have a go at trying to fix it. And just, we'll just reheat the spring bit and curl a new end on it. So he's got the new spring back on. This bit snaps off. So then we just heat that up and bend a new one round. That's what I'll, that's what's happened there. Right, we've got it back up and running anyway. He's off now just to make sure it works properly. Well, finishes feeding really, but. So everything is away now in the shed and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill this up with diesel because it's near enough running on fumes and I've got to just hang about a little bit because um, Mark's going to be fetching back the muck spreader. So um, I'll just be here just to drop it off with him and get that job sorted. But this is where I'm going to end it. So if you have liked today's video, please remember to press the like button. Subscribe if you've not already. Um, and we will catch you tomorrow. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Big Mick comes and gives me a hand. But um, if not, it will just be me and my dad um, pottering about on the farm. So thanks for watching, guys. And we will catch you later. Bye. Forgot to say... International viewer coming up next.